The big question this season is who can break the stranglehold Rangers have on the Premier Division title? They're going for five in a row. Well, our main objective is uh, to, to retain the Premier League Championship again. Um, myself personally, and I think I speak for a lot of their supporters as well, is uh, if we can get a little run going in Europe. I think um, the club's overdue uh, uh, something in Europe. But um, the league title is the main, main objective again. Uh, we lost the League Cup for the first time in uh, five years uh, last year. We'll be looking to get that back as uh, soon as possible as well. Gather opening up there, great play by Mackay's to Del Garvin. Mackay's the magnificent goal for Rangers. That was one of 101 league goals Rangers scored last season. Goff is expecting a tough title race with Celtic, the main threat. I think Celtic will be the main challengers, but uh, Hearts again will be there as well as Aberdeen. Aberdeen have made some good signings and they'll be there again. But um, I'll be definitely looking for Celtic uh, to be our main challengers. I think it's, uh, it's Liam Brady's second year in charge and he knows a bit more about Scottish football now than I think he did a year ago. And um, I expect the main challenge to come from them. It was Hearts who mounted the main challenge last season. They led the league for long spells, playing some good football. Joe Jordan wants more of the same and knows what it will take to achieve that. Well, it's up to, to us to, uh, to play as a unit, to play to our strengths, and hopefully we can improve uh, on that quality of team play and individuals playing within the team. And as I said, uh, if we can and the time's right and the player's right, that we can bring those players in that can improve uh, the squad that we have. With Dave McPherson gone, he sees the £90,000 signing Peter van der Ven playing a key role in defence. I'm looking forward uh, to this challenge. Uh, it's, it's, for me, it's still a big move and uh, I think Hearts are one of the better clubs in Scotland, so I'm looking forward to start uh, against Celtic Saturday. Here we are opening game of the season and uh, I don't think there'll be a seat in the place. What can a player ask for? can't ask for anymore. Celtic fans got their first chance to thank Paul McStay for staying when he led the side out against Manchester United. It was honours even in this pre-season friendly, Celtic being given the lead by Jerry Craney. Three minutes later, United equalised, Paul in starting and finishing the move. Shakes on the final whistle and McStay showing there's no place like home. His situation can only improve. He had a lot of speculation surrounding him last year. Although it wasn't evident that it affected him, uh, I'm sure the fact that that's no longer there, that that's no longer exists, that we're going to see an even better Paul McStay. And with an even better Paul McStay, I think you'll see an even better Celtic football team. Over the years, I've always done my best for Celtic, 100%, and nothing will change now. Uh, I'm only happy that Celtic didn't close the door on me. I didn't want them to. As I said, I just wanted to see what more options were, and I'm very happy at the way they handled it. And I think the, the reason they didn't shut the door was they were happy the way that I handled things, and I think they understood that I just wanted to carry it on to the end of my contract, just to see what was there. And once I knew what was there, this is the only place for us. If trophies don't arrive this this year, and I don't envisage that happening, but if they don't arrive, uh, you know the, the consequences um, uh, are pretty well known. I think you know managers in my situation usually get a couple of years uh, to prove themselves. I know I'm under no illusions. No new faces, but a new look stadium for the fans at Dundee United's open day. United want to improve on fourth position, which they achieved last season. But, as Jim McLean points out, strengthening his squad has not proved easy. Well, as always, uh, I'm disappointed. Uh, and I'm disappointed in the fact that I've been unable so far to add to the staff. We had a choice uh, whether to go with the same players as we had last year and not sell anybody. But uh, I decided that it was better that uh, the money we were, off we were offered for Raymond McKinnon, it was better that we took it and tried to strengthen the staff. And uh, there's no doubt at all that uh, so far it's been very disappointing. The standard, the strikers in particular, that have been sent over to us 
Uh, there are no strikers available, in my opinion, in top quality uh, in the game in Scotland or England uh, to the standard we need. So anyway, I think that uh, we'll just keep trying. Keith Wright was Hibbs' outstanding player last season, but after the highs of a Skull Cup triumph, manager Alec Miller felt the side tailed off badly. I was disappointed in my uh, uh, games between January and maybe mid-March. I felt that we let ourselves down. Uh, we didn't sustain the challenge the way we, I felt that we should have sustained the challenge, and I would be looking this year to sustain a bigger challenge on the league. Miller has given Wright a new striking partner, Darren Jackson, another lifelong Hibs fan. A tribunal will decide how much he's got to pay. I think they're very ambitious. Um, they've went through the bad times and they've came back, they've won a cup, so I think they just want to go from strength to strength now. It was goals in the red of Swindon which first attracted Willie Miller to Duncan Shearer. He failed on that occasion but got his man after a brief spell at Blackburn. Miller stresses the importance of not being overawed by Rangers. I think it's important that uh, all the clubs that, that, that seize themselves as possible contenders do compete with Rangers. You know, I think it's going to be a, a bad day for Scottish football when it's uh, you know, a foregone conclusion that one club is going to uh, walk away with the trophies. And I don't see that being the case. I think there's clubs out there, Aberdeen being uh, very much one of them, that can compete with Rangers and uh, hopefully It'll be up there at the end of the season, whether it be in the league competition or the cup competitions.